this makes the Baltimore Ravens that much stronger. What is that exactly? Well, we're going to talk about that in a second. Before we do, make sure you subscribe to the channel, turn the notifications on, and leave a like on the video because I don't want you to miss anything. Run them likes all the way up. And also, got to give a huge shout out to our newest returning Team Keep It Clean patron, my guy, Living Legend. Appreciate you for coming to Team Keep It Clean patron. If any of y'all would like to join the Patreon, you can go to patreon.com slash engravenvids. And if you don't, as long as you subscribe and leave them likes on the video, and also comment your thoughts on whatever we're talking about You all good with me So getting into it What makes the Baltimore Ravens even stronger? Who makes the Baltimore Ravens that much more stronger? Well, it is none other than Derrick Henry Now I know you've seen Oh man, y'all been talking about Derrick Henry all offseason Of course he makes the Baltimore Ravens stronger He's a really good running back One of the best running backs in the league And one of the most consistent running backs in the league as well and we know that we know that Derrick Henry has been crazy productive with the Tennessee Titans despite being the focal point of their offense we've been talking about ever since the Baltimore Ravens brought Derrick Henry on how he would benefit being with the Baltimore Ravens because they have so many other pieces around him so we ain't got to say that again we ain't got to repeat that y'all know that already but PFF who we got a love-hate relationship with they brought up some interesting numbers for some running backs around the league and, of course, we had to look at the ones that they mentioned about Derrick Henry and how they make a huge difference with the Baltimore Ravens offense, and they just make it that much more powerful. Let's listen. It says, Derrick Henry, he has six straight seasons of 10 or more rushing touchdowns. So that man finds the end zone. Now, something that I, I talked about, I was asked a couple of months ago, uh, shortly after the Baltimore Ravens signed Derrick Henry, what are your expectations for him as far as yards or whatnot? And I gave a little under 1,000 yards, but I said, I said either 16 or 17 touchdowns. Now, some people thought that I was a little crazy. Y'all know I'm a little bit crazy. I mean, you see what I got on right now. Shout out to my father-in-law. He got this hat and got the gloves, too. Shout out to him. I, and I said, I don't know when it's going to be a cold Ravens game in Florida, but I might as well wear it for the video. But anyway, um, I said he was going to get like 16, 17 rushing touchdowns. And some people thought that was a little wild. They're like, man, that's so many. That's a lot of touchdowns. And I said, well, wait, hold up now. The reason that I believe that he will do that is for two, two reasons. One, because of Gus Edwards. Last season, Gus Edwards had 13 rushing touchdowns, and he wasn't even the feature back, so to speak. I mean, it, it was a mix of him. There was sometimes when it was Keith Mitchell, or sometimes when it was Justice Hill. It was a little bit of everybody. So Ravens did running back heavy by committee last year, and that's something that they've been doing for a long time now. They haven't really had a feature back like that, like that in a while. Um, but another reason that I believe that Derrick Henry could get like 16, 17 touchdowns is because, I mean, it's Derrick Henry. And because of that same point with Gus Edwards, why Gus Edwards was not the feature back, they were not heavily invested in him, but they are heavily invested this year into Derrick Henry. So I expect him to get his number called a lot. He's one of those running backs that it takes him a little while to get going, and the more you keep feeding him, the stronger that he gets throughout the game, and the weaker those defenses they'll be getting to. So that's going to be a lot of fun just to watch that. So with that being said, that's why I feel like Derrick Henry getting 16, 17 touchdowns is really not far-fetched, especially the, 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 every team plays 17 games. So that would be an average of one touchdown per game. When you think about it like that, it does not sound crazy at all. But you know, of course, there are going to be some games where Derrick Henry doesn't reach the end zone. Well, hopefully that doesn't happen. But, you know, we got to be realistic. It's the NFL. There are going to be some games where he doesn't reach the end zone. But... There are going to be other games where he reaches the end zone multiple times, where he gets there over and over and over, where he just simply cannot and will not be stopped. Those are the games we're looking forward to the most. So with Derrick Henry, that's 16, 17 touchdowns. That's that could be that could even be low. But no, I think that'll be a, a good number for him. If you want to exceed that number, by all means, go ahead. Now, another reason that this makes the Baltimore Ravens even stronger, them adding Derrick Henry is because of this. Uh, since 2022, running backs with the most missed tackles force. So running backs, as they avoiding tackles, they eluding uh, defenders, and they making people just straight up miss. Well, Kenneth Walker Jr., he has 104. Najee Harris has 107. Josh Jacobs has 118. Travis Etienne Jr. has 121. But we ain't worried about those other four guys. What about our guy, Derrick Henry? How many missed tackles does Derrick Henry have? Well, he has 126. So since 2022, 
Derrick Henry has the most missed tackles for us. Now I know that number, especially when you go since 2022, that can kind of skew the numbers like that to Derrick Henry's advantage, but I don't care because the fact that he is still making people miss, like that's something that Derrick Henry probably doesn't get enough credit for is that he's a little swift, man. He Like when, when you think about Derrick Henry, you think of this big, strong, uh, shredder-looking uh, running back. Super, super shredder looking running back. Shout out to the TMNT. I know y'all know what I'm talking about. But um, you don't think of a guy that can make people miss. You don't think of a guy that's agile. Now, he ain't like going crazy. He ain't like Saquon Barkley or something like that. But Derrick Henry, just because he's big, don't mean he ain't got the moves. So with him making people miss, like that just adds another element to not only his game, but to the Baltimore Ravens offense. And we know with this offense, like, they were already really good last year. They, they, they were great last year. And then as the year went on, they kept getting stronger. They kept getting more powerful. They kept getting more versatile. And that's what we loved about this team. So this year, we're looking for them to take another step. Obviously, Todd Munkin in year two with the Baltimore Ravens in this offense. You know what's even crazier, too? There was a Cowboys fan. I saw a conversation about uh, if the Cowboys should let that Dak Prescott walk or not. And there was a Cowboys fan that said, we shouldn't pay Dak Prescott all that money. We should let him go in free agency. And then we should hire the Baltimore Ravens offensive coordinator. How far have we come to where that's a conversation? People want to hire our offensive coordinator. You know, we want to hire everybody else's. But they actually want to hire ours. Defensive coordinator, oh, yeah, this is a long list of guys that got high. But, but offensive coordinator, oh, that's crazy. But anyway, um, with Todd Munkin, he'll be in year two of his offense. And a lot of the Baltimore Ravens uh, players, they'll be in year two of this offense as well. So they'll have a better grip on it. They'll have a better understanding on it. And they'll be able to teach it better to other players as well, assist them wherever they fall in short or wherever they may feel like they may be looking like a weak link in practice and whatnot but that's what players are there for that's what the coaching staff is there for so they can pick each other up but what I, I say all that to say this that with this offense they could go to new heights next year they could just take it to a whole nother level next year and they can be that much more comfortable that much earlier in the season uh, because remember last year the offense they weren't clicking like that from jump but once they got rolling they got rolling. Uh, they end up rolling away in the playoffs in that AFC Championship game for whatever reason. But you get exactly what I'm saying. So this should be fun. This should be real fun. And we just hope that with Derrick Henry added to the mix, that versatility certainly can't stop and won't stop. Team, keep it clean. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Turn the notifications on. Leave a like on the video. Run them likes up, baby, because it helps out the channel a ton. I love you. I appreciate y'all. Uh, make sure you subscribe and don't miss a video. If you would like to become a Team, keep it clean patron, go to patreon.com slash engravingviz. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. And we out.